I would like to share with you a few insightful tips and tricks for calculating the eigenvalues of a matrix. My biggest hope is that these videos will help you improve your understanding of eigenvalues. Eigenvalues are a beautiful topic and also a relatively simple one, yet I find that the beauty and the simplicity of this topic are often lost in the relatively complicated algorithm for calculating eigenvalues. You know, the one that involves subtracting lambda from the diagonal, calculating the determinant, solving the characteristic polynomial, and then for each eigenvalue, using Gaussian elimination to bring the matrix to row reduced echelon form in order to determine the eigenvectors. These videos will assume that you're familiar with that algorithm, but will instead focus on a few simple cases where the eigenvalues and eigenvectors are easy to determine. If you're not familiar with eigenvalues at all, my best suggestion is to watch Gil Strang's videos on linear algebra. You will find that the special cases that we'll consider arise very frequently in practice, at least more often than you would think. This is because we use very special models to describe the complicated real-life situations, and special models lead to matrices with special features. Furthermore, the special cases that we'll discuss here are very likely to appear on your test because linear algebra instructors use these special features to come up with matrices whose eigenvalues and eigenvectors they know in advance. That way, they're guaranteed that the matrix they came up with does not lead to a characteristic polynomial that's too hard to solve, and whose solutions involve complicated square roots and so forth. Finally, I hope that these examples really are insightful, and that you will have several aha moments while watching these videos, and indeed walk away with better understanding of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. For motivation, let's take a look at one matrix, this one. Can you identify its eigenvalues and eigenvectors just by looking at it? Well, after you watch the following four videos, you will be able to identify all of its eigenvalues and three or four corresponding eigenvectors. I hope that you enjoy these videos. Thank you.